I mean, you know what it is. You know, you know the starters got to continue to get those guys better. But what we're trying to do, we're trying to set up certain situations. We find out what some of these younger kids can do. There was a live portion early on where we let a couple of kids go play to see if they can go make a play. And I like you know what I saw out of Huron, Washington, a couple of kids to see if they can actually go up and tackle somebody. So we're trying to put the, put them in as many situations as we can to you know get all the information we need going into the off season. I know that uh, especially after the, the 2016 season going from 10 to 3, you talked about complacency. How do you keep those starters from being complacent and, and mm -hmm. really uh, staying on top of their game yeah, during you spring? Just, you just coach them extremely hard, and a lot of you know, a lot of it's them. You, know, you got to get guys to take ownership in the team and hold each other accountable. And uh, you know, when you can accomplish that, then you got a chance. I think we're pretty good there. We spring you had like words of the week accountability. Mm -hmm. is it have you, have you changed your philosophy for this spring with no, the other seniors coming? Or is the same kind of? No, no, it's third. You know, it's a, there's five words that we, you know, build this program on. And if we can get, if they can all do those five things, you know, consistently, then we got a chance to be a team. And uh, to, the word of the week this week is trust. And that's a really important word for us. Could be able to trust that they'll go out there and do their job. How, how integral was that toward the early part of, of last season? That it, you know, it seemed like the guys came out from the jump and, and got closer in that off season uh, leading into 2017, which led to your all success. Well, there's no question. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's you know, potential gets you beat and production wins games. And uh, you know, you got to find a way to be a, the best team on the field that, as you can in, uh, in all three phases. And uh, you know, we work extremely hard to try to get that done. I know that uh, this weekend you're getting into that third week. Are you all going to try and go a little more live this weekend and, and Probably do some a little things? More. You know, we're still. You know, it's a third week, but we're still practice number, you know, seven this week and eight next week. Uh, for, uh, I'm sorry, we're seven, eight, and nine this week. So, you know, you're only having 15 practices. They'll probably, you know, every practice from here on out will have some, not every one of them, but it'll have some live components to it. And Saturday will be no different. Those components, you look, you look at offensive line versus defensive line, that's strength versus strength. You look at wide receiver versus DB, it, it seems to be strength versus strength. Is, is that the fun aspect for you coaches seeing, mm -hmm. you know, your – you're at the top level uh, returning in, in both sides of the football in the conference, so you all are, are basically putting them in those situations now. Yeah, I think the competition's a great thing. You know, whenever you can go, you know, kind of wide, you know, I like our wide outs and like our DBs, and you know, and carry on Morrell and you're on Washington, a lot of the young players that haven't played a whole lot can line up against Tyree Brady's and Obies and Marcells and Willie and those guys, you know, they, they're going to get better. So that's always important to have uh, you know, good people on both sides of the ball so you can compete in the situation. Okay, guys, thanks.